Hello, my topic is coronavirus analysis using S squared. So, the overview of this is uh, talking about the pandemic, which had a significant impact on public health. So, by using the data set as a data analyst intern, we are tasked with uh, analyzing the coronavirus data set to derive meaningful insight and present our findings. These are the data sets given, where there is province, country, region, latitude, longitude, the date, the confirmed number of deaths, the, the deaths and recovered. Let's move on to the queries. So the first query, uh, we are using uh, select everything from coronavirus using the where clause of a particular column example deaths is null so if if the death column has a null value it will return true since none of the values have null we can skip this query we need to check the total number of the rows so we are using an aggregate function called count and renaming it as total rows and from the coronavirus so we get the total row then we are checking the start date and the end date so we are using the aggregate function again here using the minimum of the date as start date and maximum date as the end date from coronavirus then we are checking the number of months present in the data set so we have 12 months we are using distinct function which is used to uh, remove the duplicate values and show only the single value at a time then we are finding the monthly average of confirmed deaths and recovered so we are here we are using the aggregate function uh, using the keyword abg that is for average and we are also checking a where clause where the date is not null suppose if the date is not is null then it will return null then we are grouping by and ordering by year and month then we are finding the most frequent value for confirmed deaths and recovered each month so this is for the confirmed query where we are uh, counting everything as frequency and then we are grouping by year month and uh, ordering by frequency in descending order so we'll get the lowest to highest this is for the deaths which is same query as uh, confirmed deaths and this is for recovered which is similar to the deaths query then we are finding the minimum value for confirmed deaths and recovered per year. So uh, we are using the aggregate function called as min for confirmed deaths and recovered and we are grouping and the ordering by the year. Then we are finding the maximum values of confirmed deaths and recovered per year. So in previous query we found the minimum and now we are finding the maximum. So I think it's easy and safer to say that we are using maximum aggregate function. The total number of cases confirmed deaths and recovered each month. So total as in we have to add. So we are using the aggregate function called sum and we are doing the totaling and grouping and ordering by month. Then we are checking out the total confirmed cases, their average, the variance and their standard deviation using some average, variance and standard deviation, the keyword. Then we are grouping them by year, date, that is the from the date column we are just uh, take, filtering out the year and the month and then we are grouping the same. Now we are checking for the sim similar query but for that column. Uh, is it's similar as uh, the above uh, the previous query and now we are checking for the recovered cases where we are using the aggregate function sum average variance and standard deviation to find the required uh, output then we are finding the country having the highest number of confirmed cases so we are selecting everything from the country region the max of confirmed cases as in the confirmed table then we are grouping it by country region and ordering order by highest descending so we will get the highest number and we are limiting it to one so it will return only one output instead of returning the whole output now we are finding the lowest number of death cases so we are selecting the country region then minimum of death as lowest death from the table name 
then we are grouping them and ordering by lowest debt so here we are getting multiple countries with lowest debt but you can also use limit one to show only one country or a region or according to your needs you can show two three also then we are finding your top five countries having recovered cases so if the query is similar, similar to the previous queries so we are selecting the country region max recovered as highest recovered then we are grouping them by country and ordering them by highest recovered in descending order so we need the highest set so we are using descending by default if you use order by it will be in ascending order so small to big whereas i want the highest so i'm using the descending order so it will show me the highest value to the lowest value and then i'm limiting them by 5 thank you